Hello and welcome to my shop. I have an idea for a little game that I'd like to make and I need to make a jig to assist me in making that game. What I need for this game are 10 circles, each one a tiny bit bigger than the last. So what I've decided to do is to build a very small circle cutting jig. I've got a 14 inch bandsaw. That's what I'm gonna use for cutting these circles. That's what I use for making this circle and it turned out pretty good. And what I'm gonna to do today is walk you through the build of that jig and demonstrate its cutting ability. So I invite you to join me for this jig build. The first step in creating this guide was to mill up a runner and get it glued to my piece of stock. That runner is going to allow the stock to move freely back and forth on the table of my bandsaw. My stock is about a sixteenth of an inch over four inches long. So I'm going to go ahead and put a mark at about two inches even with the blade. That mark will be my stop mark. So as I feed this sled into my blade, when I hit this point, I want to stop. Knowing that this point is the center of my sled, I now want to draw a line all the way down the center. This line will be used to, to, to mark the centers for the radiuses of my circles. A radius of one half of an inch will produce a circle that is one inch in diameter. So if I make a mark every eighth of an inch along my line, I can create gradually increasing circles. My maximum circle will be three and a, and a half inches. So I have a gauge here that will take me from a one inch circle up to a three and a half inch circle in half inch increments. I've chosen a very small nail with a flat head and that nail measures five sixty fourths of an inch. So I've grabbed a 5 64 inch bit and I'm going to drill holes all along my grid on my gauge. Now that we have the holes drilled, we can simply insert our nail from the back side, put this in the guide rail, and by drilling a 5 64 inch hole in a piece of square stock, we should be able to drop it onto this nail, take it into the blade, and make a circle. I'm ready to attempt to cut a one inch circle. I've got my jig set up. You can see I've got the nail in the first slot, which is a half inch from the blade, so I should get roughly a one inch circle. We'll drop it into place. I have prepared a piece of wood and you can see I've drilled a 5 64 inch hole in the center of that piece of wood. Now I'll drop it onto the nail. You can see that it rotates. I want to take a second here to talk about a mistake that I made. And that mistake is when I ran this jig in, I attempted to turn this. My blade is a quarter inch thick and it bound the blade up. What I wasn't thinking is on a circle cutting jig, if you look at a table saw, you, you make a circle cutting jig for your table saw, what you do is you go in and you knock the corners off of it and take it down to size and then you're able to spin it into the blade. So what I need to do is back this piece off of the jig, and go ahead and run the jig through the bandsaw, cut this outside piece completely off. Then we'll come back and we'll run it through knocking the corners off of this and once the corners are knocked off I should be able to round it. Now that we've cut the outside piece off the jig let's go ahead and put our wood back on and we'll go right back in the same kerf but we'll just cut this straight off and then we'll knock the rest of the corners off 
and we should be able to round. And we have a relatively round circle. There's a little notch there. That's where I got off earlier and bound the blade. Uh, but I'm confident that if I get another piece of wood and run it through the, the proper way, that uh, I'll make some nice circles. Here's a second circle, and that one is almost perfect. That one is perfectly round. Tiny bit of sanding to touch it up, and uh, we're good to go. I'd like to say thank you for taking your valuable time to watch this video today. If you like what you've seen, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, let me know you like what you've seen. Like this video, leave me a comment, and if you really enjoy the video, share it with your friends. Invite them to stop by my shop and take a look at some of the things I'm doing. All of those things provide the encouragement that I need to keep making videos for you. So thank you for joining me today and have a little fun making some circles.